Hey everyone, so in this video, we're going to find the derivative using the product rule. So recall the product rule says, if you have a function, say uh, f times g, and you take the derivative of the product, uh, I think of f as the first piece and g as the second piece. So it's the derivative of the first times the second plus the first times the derivative of the second. So in this problem, uh, f is our actual function. So it's not really good to think of it in terms of the actual variables in the formula. That's why I say first and second, because the variables always change. But if you say first and second in your mind, um, you'll always be able to do it. So this is the first, and this is the second. So we're going to take the derivative now. All right, so it's the derivative of the first. So the derivative of cosecant is negative cosecant cotangent. All right, that's the derivative of the first one. And then times the second. All right, derivative of the first times the second. Derivative of the first times the second plus the first times the derivative of the second. Now the derivative of e to the x is e to the x. So this is e to the 2x. But then you have an inside piece, right? Your inside function is 2x. So you have to multiply by the derivative of the inside function. That's the chain rule. So the derivative of 2x is 2. The last thing to do is just clean it up, right? Maybe erase the parentheses and put the 2 over here in the front. So f prime of x is equal to, I'm also going to put the e in the front. So negative e to the 2x and then cosecant x, cotangent x, and then maybe put the two and the e in the front again over here. So plus two, e to the two x, cosecant x. And that is the final answer. I hope that made sense. 